Welcome back to Passive House in the Woods. I'm Josh Crenshaw with more construction. Behind the camera, Steve Swanson. We are up on the rooftop terrace of um, Gary's house, and we are about to stack the ICF block for the parapet wall. This ICF form, insulated concrete form, will extend all the way from the top of the par parapet to the top of the footing, so full height. ICF wall all the way around the perimeter of the house also being used for the garage foundation. So we just thought we'd give a quick primer on uh, ICF insulation now that we're sort of near the top. So as you can see we've got number four half inch dowels that are placed uh, every 32 inches horizontally, uh, excuse me, vertically. Uh, these are placed in after the pour when the concrete was still wet and they will act to bind the, the courses that we're placing now with the concrete that's already poured. We've got our cold joint here at a floor level, which is good because any weakness in that cold joint will be locked in place by the floor system. Um, installing the, the insulated concrete forms is pretty simple. We've cleaned off um, the keyed system here after the pour, so sometimes get some concrete in there, so we've taken the time to clean that off. I've already, of course, pre-fitted this form to make sure it's going to work. And uh, the last thing we do before we install the form on uh, the first course here and in the corner is uh, we install uh, some foam adhesive. That helps to lock this form in place so there's no movement, no lifting, and uh, no shifting during the pour. Also uh, does sort of seal up that insulation. So I just put um, a little bit around where this is going to lock in place. Place the form over the rebar. And that should go like that. Press down. Just make sure that it locks firmly in place. So you can also see that our last course broke here and here, so I've alternated it. So now we have a seam here and here. This helps to eliminate um, discrepancies in the width, helps to lock together previous course forms and um, we can also throw a straight one in so you can see how things continue. This next course will lock in place like that. You can see our ties line up with the forms below it. Those are continuous all the way through. And then our next corner form will run long here and short here. I'll pull this form off and glue it. And that's it for today's lesson. Do we have any steel going in this level? Any horizontal? We have horizontals in here as well. We have every other course. This course will get a number four bar continuously around. And then the top course will get one last number four bar going around. And still 90s in all the corners? 90s in all the corners, yeah. All right. Yeah, that is correct.